Hey YouTube, this is Kunet Nani, and it's time for another Adventure Time episode review, which well featuring James. Um, now the way to start off was kind of like a um, kind of confusing at first. Cause when I first saw it, I was in like, what the heck happened here? I see Jake and Ben got all upset and sad, like they're about to go for a funeral, right? Which they were really was going to a funeral, so I didn't know who it was a funeral for. And I was like, "What the heck happened here?" And so now the episodes went back. The saying starts off from a week earlier. Uh, PB and James, which is an ice cream, well, it's candy. So I'm going to assume it's like an ice cream sandwich guy. It looks like an ice cream sandwich. Anyway, PB and James with Finn and Jake. Um, they're. Pretty much, they're on a mission to take some samples of the gr of a dirt in the uh, in this crevice. Now, what I noticed on the settings is that, or where they were going, I saw I see some um I seen uh, broken bridges of the of a highway. I seen some trash and junk from the settings that they were going, and it looks like it was it was like a wasteland from a from a city that was once there from a different time. And so I that leads me to believe that they were going some part of a of a city that was during the Mushroom War. <clears throat> That's what I believe. That's actually my kind of my theory. Um, cause I saw a broken highway, a destroyed broken highway, destroyed debris of streets, street signs, and all that stuff. And and it's, from, it's a wasteland. Uh, they were they were heading in. They were they were in a wasteland, and I assume I assume to be that it was from the uh, Mushroom War, the city of the Mushroom War. And so now they were in. So they were investigating. Uh, PB and the others were investigating a crevice, or a crater in this case, and they were trying to pick up just dirt samples. And so now, so now James is like a is an oddball kind of character. Hilarious, I would say. He's an oddball kind of character, though. He just like start making like sound effect noises and start doing some random stuff, doing the robot. And I was like, I was like, this guy must be a really oddball. And so it was. He's a really funny character. I actually love James in that in this episode. I actually love him. He's really hilarious. He makes some of the, so much sound effects. He reminds me of this one character, but it's not in the top of my head by by any means. So. So while uh, PB is uh, picking up the dirt samples from the crater, right? A toxic, toxic zombie creatures from the Mushroom War came out from the ground, and I literally thought that they were dead. I literally thought they were dead because we know from Simon and Marcy, right? It was taken back. Those toxic creatures was taken back during that time era when Simon and Marcy. Was pretty much trying to survive the city of the Mushroom War, but that was like the aftermath. And so when PB tried to pick up the dirt and the toxic creatures come out, I was thinking to myself, "Holy crap! Ain't that? Aren't those the toxic creatures from Simon and Marcy from the Mushroom War?" It really baffled me, and I was thinking to myself, "I thought they were dead. I really thought in my head that they were gone, but apparently it looks like it was a grave site. And yet, unless they were hiding only from that crater." So that got me believe what else they, that these toxic creatures could be hiding other than just that wasteland of the crater. So that's got me believing about that. And so toxic creatures started chasing after PB and the others. They went back inside the uh, their, um, their walker, their spider ant walker machine, pretty much, vehicle. And those toxic creatures started tearing up the darn thing. And they couldn't, and his thing, this goes to show you that PB and Finn and Jake, they cannot do a thing. This is going to show you that even their skills, their talented skills of PB's smarts, um, Finn's skills of a fighter, and pretty much of Jake's techniques and all, right? All their tactics would never even work. Because as toxic creatures spits out pretty much acid, it can kill you. Where they can kill you from the bones, flesh, everything. They cut through metal. They even went through metal and all that stuff, man. They're ripping that darn thing apart. That goes to show you how powerful these creatures are. This is nothing to mess with. And the only thing they can beat them is by distance. But 
as you all know from Simon Marcy, Ice King with his new ice powers when he got the crown, right? He used to defeat them and wear them out with his with his ice powers because they're all distant attacks, pretty much. So yeah, it got me baffled. It even show I even read this one post part on uh, I think it was on Tumblr, pretty much. I read this whole caption like even th th about describe about these toxic creatures. It goes to show you how you know how these how dangerous these gu these guys can be, for real. They can cut. I mean, they spell acid, they, cut, they go through your flesh, metal, whatever. It shows how crazy that they can't be messed with in close combat. Only can be beaten by distance. And when when I seen that PB had no idea how to get through, get out of this or even fin all stuff right, I was like, dang, how do I get out of this? So now Finn, PB, and Jake, even James, they're trying to figure out an escape plan. And every tactic, excuse me, every tactic that Finn and Jake was trying to come up with pretty much, right, wouldn't, well, pretty much, well, it didn't come to fruition. Finn tried to try radio, radio for help, but the radio system was busted. So James tried to fix it with his lucky coin. This guy's hilarious. Dude tried to fix it with his lucky coin. And so when Finn and Jake and PB was trying to, like, you know, doing more investigate the situation and how to get out of it, right? James came back and telling he fixed it, or so he thought. They came back into the main control room. That darn thing was not even fixed. The darn wires were all shattered. The wires were all ripped apart. Everything, man, it was not even fixed. It was hilarious. So Jake assumed that, you know, that James sabotage, like, well, James is an oddball, and he thought that he sabotaged the darn thing. I mean, I don't believe that James would do that, though. So, the second plan was for him to, well, find flares. And when James gave him the flare, right, there was no flare gun. There was really no flare gun. And so, again, all pointing fingers to James, because he thought that he was sabotaged and took the flare gun. And now, fast forward <clears throat> to like to no solution at all. PB knocked Finn. Well, actually, before that, Finn had one last resort, and I think it kind of really makes sense in this situation. Finn decided to sacrifice himself, right? Or what? He, or so he thought he would try to do. He has to sacrifice himself, or anybody sacrifice himself. To lure those creatures out of there, and they will get a chance to escape. Finn volunteered, but PB knocked Jake and Finn out. And so what he, so what PB decided to do was take a piece of, took a piece of James, because since James ran out of candy, you know, and this is what I thought kind of makes sense here. James, you know, PB took James a piece of James and kept it, so he can make another clone of him, and so. The actual James, you know, lured toxic creature away, lured the toxic creatures away, and he got eaten. And I thought James was gone, apparently. But well, they escaped. PB, Finn, and Jake they escaped, and you know, PB, you know, Finn woke up after his like head injury since PB knocked him out with the wrench. Ouch! Finn woke up. And you know he was wondering why what happened to James, and then PB told him that Jane, you know PB told him that PB sabotaged that she sabotaged all all of his plans because she knew she knew that there was no way out of this. There was no there was really no there was really no way out against the toxic creatures at all. There was no way out of this. So Finn sabotaged. I mean, so PB sabotaged all of Finn's plans, even her even herself. Her calculations and all that stuff, they wouldn't even, they wouldn't matter in this case in this situation. So she decided, he told she told Finn that James, she she told James to sacrifice himself, to take the hit, lure the toxic creatures away, and then they escaped. And which takes out to the beginning of the episode, which is the funeral. That which led to the funeral of James's well, original James Paxson. And so and this is what I thought that this was like this was actually kind of wrong here. This is what I thought that was wrong. 
PB decided to honor James by cloning him. Which I can, I can understand he could, he could be cloned, but to honor a guy by cloning the dude? That's kind of wrong to me. To me, that's kind of wrong. I thought that was really not right. For real. It was really not right. Now, what I thought... Well, pretty much to my point here. The original James came out from the crevice of the crater. And he turned into a toxic creature. Which is freaking bad. Really bad. And so not just James, but all the toxic creatures that came out, they ran off. Which led me to believe that this is going to be something that... This is going to be one heck of a... Of a series now, still. Now the, toxic creatures, now the toxic creatures that came out from the Mushroom War came out and came back along with James. That led me to believe how this is going to turn out. That literally led me to believe about how all this is going to turn out. This is really nuts. This has really become a crazy series right now. And I actually, it gets better now. I really love it. So, yeah, that's the whole uh, James episode in a nutshell for real. Now what I did thought what I did found I what I did found um really good or interesting is that the wrecking of highway building some buildings the wreckage of uh the high of a highway street and uh, a wasteland of the toxic creatures that let me found interesting because they were part of the mushroom war from a city that was like from a different time period so which is back to the mus mushroom war excuse me. And what I also find interesting is that what PB told Finn is that she can clone another. I mean, since I uh, since James out candy, she can clone another candy, which is kind of easy. But she cannot clone another, another human, which is Finn. I get to believe that it wouldn't be right, and it cannot be possible in this case in in this situation. But that's James in a nutshell. Very good episode and. A very good kickstart because I'm thinking that now the toxic creatures are you know came back I led to believe what's going to be happening next so I'm actually really kind of interested in what's going to be happening in the next episode so I hope I really do hope that it's going to get good I mean I know it's going to get good but it's going to be great uh so yeah that's the whole James episode in a nutshell so I hope you guys enjoy this a uh, quick side note, I've seen the episode of the new episode of Family Guy of um on another website and I couldn't fin I couldn't finish watching it. I couldn't finish watching it. Brian the dog died and it, I saw the last last couple minutes of the episode yesterday. Not yesterday, but um Sunday they got a new dog and they it, it blew off Brian. It blew off Brian the dog. I was really, really like, really? So you're not going to be able to bring it back. And I was kind of a little bit upset. And everyone was upset at this. And because the feels of uh, Brian the dog, he was a really great character. Brian the dog and Family Guy was a really great character. And they haven't been blown off by a new dog, which I don't understand why, but still, it was really messed up. It was really a messed up episode. I couldn't finish watching it today because it let me it would leave me crying. It was really not that. It really wasn't okay. It was not okay. So, mm, excuse me, I'm kind of tired. So yeah, that's the right now. I mean, for right now, everyone's like really kind of upset about the episode because of uh, Brian Dog's. Uh, Brian Dog actually died in, in the episode. Dude actually died. He can he could not come back. The time machine has been destroyed. Stu destroyed the time machine because it caused so much trouble. And now Stewie regrets it now. Brian the dog is gone. So he's gone for good. So, I mean, it's probably a way. He probably will come back. I hope so. I really hope so. If he, do, if he don't, then that would just destroy. That destroys my heart. It really kind of destroys my heart now. So, yeah, that's that's. Pretty much all the heads up I can give you guys. Um, yeah. So that's the whole uh, review of Adventure Time of James and the heads up of the Family Guy episode. So, hope you guys enjoy this. It's Kuna Nice signing out. Please leave a comment, like, and subscribe.